versus Derek Brunson. Not a lot to talk about. Dark Ray knocked him out. Brunson looked, you know, he looked all right. He went forward. He um, put him under pressure. Landed a few shots, but uh, Jack Ray was looking for the car right hand the whole time. Knocked him out with a head kick. What did he do? You know, I mean, it was a decent main event, but it's uh, I'm not terribly excited by that. Yeah, I mean, I guess I wasn't super excited by... Uh, I'm more excited, I, I guess, by Jacques Ray. Um, cause, like, he's a bad motherfucker. He's, like, knocking dudes out. No, he's supposed to be a submission guy, and he's coming out and just fucking... Um, granted, Derek Brunson isn't really, like, you know... You know, known as like a crazy like striker, but Jacare. Derek Brunson has knocked out his last six opponents inside the first round. Yeah, but he's, if the, if I said he wins, he's he knocks them out. Yeah, who is who? Who did he knock out in his in his, his last opponents? Uh, all right, granted, Daniel Kelly, Sam Alvey, mm. Uriah Hall, um, Loyalto Machida. Okay, there are right, Hall, this, Hall and Machida. This goes on. Okay, all right. Hey, I'm you not, know, I'm not hating. I'm not hating, but it's not like I see Derek Brunson. Am I wrong to say this? He just doesn't look like he's a good striker. That's just the only way I can describe it. I see him. It doesn't look good. Absolutely. Absolutely. You hit the nail on the head because he's sloppy. He's sloppy as hell. He really is. He swings in. He's powerful. Obviously, he's got a lot of power because he knocked people out, as I just said. But he swings, and he's he's wild. Uh, on this occasion, he was a little less wild. I think it was the fight with uh, Robert Whitaker when he decided to stop being so wild because he got knocked out. But again, it didn't matter. Jack Ray threw a head kick. So uh, this is a good good thing about having a video podcast. I can explain shit. So Jack Ray blocked the head kick like this. Mm. No, like this. Like Brunson, that. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Which in principle is good. You know, you, think, yeah, you put your hand up and you block it. But the problem is the foot, is, this is amazing. It comes over here. And that kind of goes round, and it still gets the back of the neck. That's what I'm trying to say. So when you block a head kick, you've got to do this, okay? One arm out here, another one there, two hands, boom, there, and you stop the head kick. If you've got it here, you're still going to get kicked in the head, you know? So there's got to be some element of separation from the hands to the head, you know? So so that the shin bone can't get through. Um, so there you go. There's how to block a head kick with Michael Bisping, one-on-one. Boom. <laughs> Boom. That should be a fucking paid Hardest podcast energy, right there. Block the bad. Hard as the bl- good energy, block the bad. <laughs> so what about Jacques Ray? Bad energy. On, uh, we're, we're not vibing here, Lewis. What's going on? I'm vibing. I'm having a good time. I just started having vibing. a good time until you said that. Now I'm feeling bad. <laughs> you, you picking up the bad vibes? That was the. I was having a good time. Just now was the moment I was like, you know, we just we just hit a rhythm. We're 15 minutes in. We had a whole shit storm with Daniel Cormier. We did it. We had, we had a little shit storm. Let listen. I, again, we're breaking down these Jack Ray fights. We promised ourselves that we, time, Lewis. If right. we don't give a shit about the fights, we're not going to break them down. Well, you ha- you should kind of care. I mean, it's the you you're. Uh, you're- I don't- I don't care. I'm going to have one last fight, maybe. I couldn't give a shit what Jack Ray does. I couldn't care if Jack Ray looked like the biggest killer ever. Of course, I'm a fan, but um, I don't know. I, I wasn't... I mean, I was there as an analyst, and from that perspective, I was interested. I. But know, now that you're retiring, the guy that... That doesn't mean anything to you because you've said this before, like because you're competing. Really, the only guys you give a fuck about are the guys that you might one day fight. But now you're retiring. You got one more possible fight that we're not allowed to talk about. Possibly who it could be. You know, you, you know, every, you know <laughs> the whole fucking MMA world could talk about it. But you know, it's fine. Uh, oh, so here we are. Here no, 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 it's not now, a big deal. Now, now, now we get into it. Now we get into it. Here's the thing. I told Lewis there is some discussion of a potential fight for me. But I can't talk about it. And he's sending me messages and he's texting and he's giving me shit. We need to talk about this, Michael. Okay. And I'm like, I spent all morning sending notes for this show. (laughs) Not one part of those notes alluded to that. Why? Because I don't want to talk about it. If some two-bit journalists out there on the internet fucking have picked up some information. Not naming any names. I've picked up some information and that's doing the rounds. That's great. But I'm not going to publicly go out there and say things when I can't say them. Because you know why, Lewis? I'm a professional. Let's look at your notes again, Lewis. Let, 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 Stop let's going to my notes. Why are you mocking my notes now? Because I mocked. So one, one UFC and Fox main event review. We've done that. Two, two. This is my problem, Lewis. The fight Number that shall two. not be named. All right. No, no, no. Number two, uh, he's got Ariel Hawani says Bisping versus Richard. What? In, I didn't in say that, world. did I? No, I yeah, didn't say did. that. You did. 
And my point is this, Lewis. I emailed you notes. I text you notes. I believe we may have had phone calls simply because it makes it sound like three points of not mentioning the Rashad fight. But there isn't a Rashad fight. Yes, people are reporting it. Um, but I am not. I, I didn't even write that. Was that. Maybe that was a typo. I didn't write that. Yeah, so apparently there is, there is a rumor going around about me and Rashad. I, I will say this. I will say this. I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, well, 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 let's start with the obvious. Rashad fights at 205. I fight at 185, so that doesn't even make sense. Well, he did fight his last fight at 185, and uh, I know he had talked about possibly moving back up to 205, but, you know, who knows? I believe it's officially gone back up to 205. But you don't even like cutting weight, though. But anyway, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I mean, I'm, it's not like it's not like I was ten and zero at uh, fifteen and zero at light like heavyweight. I was never fifteen and zero at light like heavyweight, and I'm not fighting with Chad Evans. And it's not there like it's not like this is the man that handed you your first very controversial split decision loss at two hundred and five pounds. Saying there's the, the, there's a storyline there. I'm just saying there. Look, there's there's wow. something there. There's something there. That, I used to fight at light heavyweight, and I could return back there. You're saying that he was the first guy to hand me a controversial split decision loss that a lot of people thought I won, and that perhaps Almost everybody. Was, uh, getting towards the end of our careers, it would be a logical matchup in London. Huh. <laughs> Rashad, oh, Evans, Rashad Evans' own family thinks she won that fight. You ask any of the Evanses. <laughs> like, yeah. Exactly. So, no, I can... I, 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 it would be very unprofessional for me. 